welcome to The Modern Lady. I'm Devereaux. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you can get an update when I've got a new video to share. If you're returning, welcome back. Ladies, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. I appreciate and adore you all. Today's video is about how to send the perfect Christmas cards, and since Christmas is just next week, it's right on time. Now, I know we live in this digital age where people love emails and text messages. They're perfect for almost everything under the sun, from party to wedding invitations, but are they really perfect for Christmas cards? In my opinion, no. The art of sending a tangible Christmas card is just a beautiful touch, and it's something that extends beyond the power of what an email can really do. I love receiving and sending cards in the mail because it's just a very personal gesture to show someone that you care about them and it's just a super thoughtful way of showing that you care. So I personally love Christmas cards, handwritten cards, not necessarily just a Christmas e-card. So my advice today is going to be about sending Christmas cards in the postal mail. The ideal time for your recipients to receive their Christmas cards is between December 1st and December 24th. If you're sending cards after Christmas Day, you should just address them as Happy Holiday Cards, and you can include greetings and well wishes for both Christmas and New Year's. But for a Christmas card, you definitely want it to arrive no later than Christmas Eve. If you're using address labels for your Christmas cards this season, I highly recommend that you handwrite your return address. It's just going to add a personal touch. If you have a printed label for the recipient's address as well as your return address, it's a little bit more impersonal and it kind of just seems manufactured. The point of sending a Christmas card is to have a personal way for you to share your holiday cheer to loved ones and the best way to do that is to include something handwritten. So if you're using a printed label for the address of the recipient, you want to be sure to handwrite your return address in your return sender name as well. While we're on the topic of print versus handwritten, I also recommend that you handwrite your signature, not to have cards with them printed. Again, it's just a personal touch for you to be able to extend that level of thoughtfulness to whoever you are sending your cards to. So taking the time to hand signature out and write in the names of your family is definitely well worth the five seconds it's going to take for you to hand write them and sign them because it definitely is a much more personal touch for your cards. When you are signing Christmas cards for a family, it is appropriate for one person to sign for everyone. And if that's the case, the order of the names should be with the father's first name, the mother's first name, and then the first name of each child from oldest to youngest with the last name on the end. So that is the order if you are writing out your hand signature for your cards for the entire family. It's perfectly fine for one person to do it, but hopefully the person signing the cards isn't always designated the task every year so everyone in the family can get a turn. Now if you have a particular design on your Christmas cards that you love, of, I would love to hear about it. The holiday season is simply the most wonderful time of the year, so you can share with us in a comment below the design of what your favorite Christmas cards are or the design of the cards you are sending this year to your family and loved ones. We can keep the conversation going below. If you found this video helpful, you appreciated it, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you did. And if you haven't yet joined the Modern Lady Society, please find out more information about the free membership at the link in the description below. It's a free online community of women around the world dedicated to living every single day with charm and elegance. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in the next one. Bye for now.